Hi, welcome to Oral Skills slash Ear Training 101. Today we're going to be talking about melodic dictations and how to write them. So, for those of you who have been in oral skill, taken oral skills or ear training before in the past, chances are you've had to write a lot of melodic dictations. And it can be one of, if not the most difficult aspect of the class. And I know how you feel. I've been there myself too. It is, it's not easy. However, it can be done. And, for, and today we, I'm going to lead you through a step-by-step -step process of how to write melodic dictations. So for this example, we're going to use a melody in the key of C major. No sharps, no flats, no accidentals, all diatonic, our, everyone's favorite key. So I'm going to sing the uh, melody to you and then break down the, step, the steps to um, writing the dictation. Da 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 So after hearing the melody, the first step that we want to do is figure out the time signature of the melody. I will do this by repeating the melody, but this time I'm going to emphasize the downbeat or the first beat of each measure of the melody. After hearing this, we can figure out that the time signature of this melody is 4-4. Four, four. And how do we know that, you may ask? The reason why we know that is because with each, pull, each um, emphasized note, begins another group of notes. And we can see and we can infer it from da 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 that there are four consecutive beats of equal value within each of those pulses or groups of notes. Which and so what we do is we write Four four for the time signature, and what the top number represents is the number of beats in each measure, and the bottom represents the value of each beat. In this case, since it's a four, it is a quarter note. So after we figure out our time signature, the next thing to do is figure out how many measures there are in the melody. One, two, three. Da 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 da. So we can count that there are a total of four measures in the uh, melody. So what we do next is we write down our bar lines to separate each of the measures. And of course it's always important to never forget this. I have been forgetful of this myself during my undergrad, I admit it. It's always, always write a double bar at the end of the melody to show that it is the end. So next, after f figure out the, figuring out the number of, of measures there are, we want to figure out the rhythmic value of each note in the melody. So to do this, since we're 4-4, four, four, we're going to write hash marks in each of the measures to, um, to mark down the quarter notes, where the quarter notes are. So for this, we are, so to, the way to do this is to, um, the way in which we do this is when we hear the melody again, go, okay, I'm going to sing the melody again, and then we're going to figure it out. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. So for the first measure, for example, we can note from the um, first, in the, within the first measure, there are five notes in which the first one landed on the beat, the second one also landed on the beat, but it was followed by a quick note right in the middle that was not on the beat. And the second beat, 
and these um, last two notes within that measure also both fell on the beat. So what, what does that mean? That means the first note is quarter, eighth, eighth, followed by quarter, quarter. So here we're going to write, we're going to leave that alone since that's an eighth quarter note. Then two eighth notes, quarter, quarter. Same, same process when it comes to these sec following measures. So the next measure, there were um, four notes. First one landed on the beat, second one also on the beat, but was followed by a quick offbeat note. And then another also was on the beat, but it lasted two beats. So we write that half note. Wash, rinse, repeat. So. So as we can see from the um, last two measures, the rhythmic values of the, of the notes there were um, quarter, eighth, eighth, half, quarter, eighth, eighth, half. So from there, we now have to figure out the intervallic relations between each of the notes in the melody. I would strongly recommend using solfege, but there are other methods out there as well, and whichever one that suits your boat, as long as it works, by all means go for it. But for this purpose, we're going to use solfege. So, with solfege, the melody sounds like two, three, do, mi, fa, sol, do, do, ti, la, sol, la, fa, mi, re, fa, mi, re, do. So after figuring out the solfege to the um, melody, we should be able to write down the notes of the melody. So it should look something like. followed by the next measure. And of course, don't forget these hash marks above to, um, to know where to um, write, write them down rhythmically. The purpose of these is also kind of as a guide for that. And followed by. So this is what your um, melodic dictation should look like after it's done. So as we can see, it reads. Do mi fa sol do do ti la sol la fa mi re fa mi re do. And that's it. To recalculate for all this, first thing you want to do is um, figure out the time signature, the number of measures, the rhythmic values of each note in the melody, and the um, intervallic relations between each note in the melody itself. So I hope this really helps. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate this, and good luck on your next melodic dictations. Cheers.